Adventures by Morse. Carlton E. Morse presents... The Girl on Shipwreck Island, featuring Captain Friday. If you like high adventure, come with me. If you like the stealth of intrigue, come with me. If you like blood and thunder... Come with me. Captain Bart Friday and Skip Turner, flying from French Indochina to Australia, made a forced landing on a tiny island in the South China Sea when their engines conked out. They arrived on this tiny atoll just in time to witness murder. They saw a cockney sailor creeping through the undergrowth and softly called out the name of a girl. Gracie. Then they heard a rifle shot and saw Cockney fall, an ugly bullet hole in the back of his head. Then they saw a swaggering Spanish pirate, his head tied up in a bandana, come out of hiding and bend over his victim, quite pleased with himself. All this on an island which was supposedly uninhabited. And what of this girl Gracie, Captain Friday? Gracie was one of four persons washed ashore in a hurricane when a private yacht wrecked itself on the outer reef of the island. She's an English Cockney girl and was lady's maid aboard the yacht. Washed up on the beach with her was the captain and two sailors, Spanish Manuel, alias the pirate, and Cockney. The captain was murdered two days after the landing, and we saw Cockney finished off this afternoon. And now Manuel had Gracie all to himself, or so he thought. But that was before our engines went bad and we came down on the beach. It didn't take us no time to tune up the engines again once we set out on the sand. Yes, Skip, go ahead. Tell him. Well, matter of fact, if it wasn't that we insisted on getting Gracie out of the pirate's clutches and taking her along with us, we'd have been off Shipwreck Island and on our way to Australia by this time. But Gracie's afraid of men. All men. So she wouldn't trust us. <laughs> yeah. So we had to wait till it was dark and catch her unawares and tie her up. <laughs> Man, did she ever put up a fight. Yes, Gracie put up a fight. And then things got complicated all of a sudden. Captain Friday and Skip were taking Gracie from the plateau down to the plain where it rested on the sand. Captain Friday in front, Skip bringing up the rear. Then suddenly, Skip wasn't there anymore. Instead of Skip, there was Manuel, the pirate, lurking just out of range in the darkness. And he had Skip prisoner. He offered to make a deal. You will turn over to me the girl Gracie, and I will turn over to you your friend Skip Turner. No. But this is fair thing to ask. <laughs> You better do it, because if you do not, I will cut your friend Skip Turner's throat from ear to ear. And that will not be happy time for your friend Skip Turner. And it was while Captain Friday stood in the midst of this quandary, trying to make up his mind whether to sacrifice the girl Gracie or his sidekick Skip, or whether maybe there wasn't another way out, that Belshazzar, the parrot, began to squawk in the distance. Advance to be recognized. One, two, three, hold. Here, Gracie. Here, Gracie. Do you hear Here, that? Gracie. You hear that? Bill are warning me. What do you mean, warning you? Someone's prowling in the dark about my cave up there in the jungle. Here, Gracie. Here, Gracie. Here, Gracie. You hear that? Somebody's up there. Manuel. See, si, I am here. You still got Skip Turner? Oh, see, si. he is tied to a tree. I bang him on the head and he is unconscious. Uh, what is the matter with the parrot? Gracie says somebody's prowling in the dark near her cave. Oh, but that cannot be. We are all here. I don't care if we are all here. But Bill Shaws, of course, to me like that, it means somebody's prowling close yo -ho, by. Yo-ho, yo-ho, fifteen men in a dead man's chest. Here, Gracie, here, Gracie. You hear Gracie. that? He's gone back into the cave to hide. He always hides when strangers come near. Doesn't make sense, Gracie. You and I and Skip and Manuel are the only living people on the island. I don't care nothing about that. I know it, I know it. When Belshazzar warns me, it means something. It's crazy. Unless Manuel is lying to me about having Skip a prisoner. Hey, Manuel. Are you lying to me? But why should I lie to you? What I want to know is, if you have Skip Turner tied up, then who's up prowling around Gracie's cave? Mm, that is what I wonder also, senor. Well, there's somebody up there. If there is anyone prowling this night, then it must be the ghost of the captain or the sailor, Cockney. Your conscience bothering you? <laughs> Senor, that is something I pride myself on. I have no conscience. And there's something I pride myself on. I don't believe in ghosts. Senor, 
You do not know what you are saying. Well, ghosts or no ghosts, I'm in favor of getting off this island as fast as possible. And I'm making you a proposition, Manuel. See, si, I am listening. There's room in the plane for four of us. You throw in with Skip and Gracie and me. We'll take you off the island and get you out of this place. <laughs> oh, no, senor. And turn me over to the police for murder. I guarantee we won't. You release Skip and come along, and we'll make a special landing any place you say. On some other island or on the mainland, just as you choose. You you guarantee this thing, Captain Friday? Word of honor. We'll give you every break. Hmm. That is good enough for Manuel, senor. You better be careful. What do you mean? If you trust Manuel one inch, you're a bigger fool than I thought you were. Senor, I am waiting. I have cut Skip Turner loose from the tree where I have tied him. If he tried the double cross, that's his hard luck. Come on. Ah, here you come. I thought perhaps you had thought better of your bargain. I don't make a deal I'm not prepared to keep. Oh, the senorita. Turn that flashlight out of my face. And I warn you, Manuel, one move out of you and I'll shoot you without blinking a blooming eyelash. Captain Friday let you carry a gun? I thought you was his prisoner. I am not his prisoner. As you can very well see, my hands are released and he has returned my gun. Ah, I see. So, I can't see that. Well, turn that blinking torch out of my face. Turn the flashlight over this way, Manuel, so I can get a better look at Skip. See? But I did not hit him too hard. He should not be unconscious all this time. Well, he still is. You're going to have to help me carry him down to the beach. Captain Friday, I don't trust Manuel. Oh, oh. What was that? Did you hit Gracie in the dark? Do not move, Captain Friday. Do not move a muscle because you are outlined in the moonlight. And I will kill you if you do. Me, you cannot see. <laughs> I am in the shadow. Then you did strike down Gracie. See, si. You should not have given back her gun. A senorita is a dangerous animal with a gun. What's the idea? What's this all about? <laughs> Senor, you did not think for one minute I would trust myself in your hands. If you don't know the truth when you hear it... No, no, I trust no man. There is no such thing as truth. Well, the worst for you, then. No, senor. The worst for you and for your friends, Skip Turner. Maybe. See, si. For now I have you where I want you. It is so simple to do what is necessary. We offer you rescue and freedom... In return, you offer us death. <laughs> See, it is so. Why? You take such pleasure in killing your fellow men? No, no, it is not that. And for the love of Pete, what is it? With you and Skip Turner gone, then Gracie and I will have this island all to ourselves. Yeah? See. What about that somebody or something that's prowling up around Gracie's cave? Mm, that I do not believe. But you said yourself... See? When I am making big deal with you, I say one thing. When you are in my power, <laughs> I say something else. That's great. No, no. I do not think there is anyone on this island except the four of us. And in ten minutes, there will be only two of us. <laughs> the senorita and I. Okay, Manuel. But Gracie swears the parrot always acts the way it did when there's prowlers. Oh, senor, a parrot can make a mistake. Human beings make the mistake. Why should not a parrot be allowed a mistake also? I think you're crazy. Eh, what difference does it make? Crazy or not crazy, you will be just as dead. Okay, shoot and get it over with. Uh, senor, you prefer to be shot in the front or in the back? What difference does it make? Um, I, I do not know. Some people have fear. Oh, shoot it and get it over with. Si, senor. I do not wish to keep the senor in suspense. But don't worry. It will be over quickly. Right in the heart, senor. It will be over quickly. One. Two. Manuel. Manuel. Oh, where's that flashlight? Here it is, Captain. Skip. You're conscious? Well, I think so. Here's the flashlight you was looking for. Dead as a macro. <sighs> that was a good shot from where you were lying, Skip. Hey, I didn't kill him. You didn't? Heck, fine, no. I thought you pulled a fast one. He was right on me. I couldn't move a muscle. Hey, where's Gracie? Hey, maybe she'd come too and crawl around. No. Oh, no, here she is. Still knocked out. Well, you didn't kill him. Gracie didn't kill him, and I didn't kill him. And who the heck did? Looks like Gracie was right. Huh? About what? There's somebody else on the island. Hey, she knew it all the time? Well, you were knocked out. 
The pair at Belshazzar began acting up. Gracie said he always did it when somebody was prowling around her cave. Yeah, but I thought there was only you and Gracie and the pirate and me. Well, looks like reinforcements have landed. Reinforcements for who? Looks like our side. Hey, it does at that. Mowing down Banwell here just as he was about to make cat meat out of you. What do you think we ought to do now? Well, we can either pick up Gracie and hit for the beach, get the plane in the air, or we can go back up to Gracie's cave and try to thank our rescuer. Yeah, it'd be kind of a dirty trick to just run off and leave a guy behind who saved your life. You feel that way, do you? Why, sure. How about you? The same. Well, then, we're heading back up through the jungle to Gracie's cave, huh? We are. You want to carry Gracie? Or... Of course I want to carry Gracie. I ain't had a gal's head resting on my shoulder. And you ain't going to begin now. Hey. Gracie, are you all right? Ooh, I've got a headache big enough for everybody. Well, then, naturally, I'll carry you. You'll do no such thing. i got my two feet. As long as I have, I'll walk on them. Yeah, let me help you up. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, what hit me? Manuel the pirate did. Why, they double-crossing old... Here, pick her up, Skip. She's not able to walk. You bet you... Up you come. Here now. Now, just take it easy, Gracie. You don't feel like wrestling. Oh, I doubt it, that. Come on. Ooh, I'm dizzy as a bumblebee. I told you not to trust Manuel. What did you escape? Escape my eye. He's dead. Dead? Manuel's dead? As a stinking fish. Yeah, where are you taking me? Back to your cave in the jungles. But I thought you were taking me on the airplane. That'll come later. When we discover who killed Manuel. Who killed... But didn't you do it? Nope. It skipped, didn't it? Not me. Hey, your hair smells good. Maybe by my hair. What I want to know is who killed Manuel. Well, whoever it was prowling around your cave earlier. Belshazzar. Yeah, the parrot warned me. Didn't I tell you? Yeah, but who is he? I don't know. Well, whoever he is is a good shot. Got Manuel right through the heart. But why are you going back to my cave? To say thank you to the mystery man. I'd get a bullet through your own heart. Yeah? That's what you two are heading for. A bullet through your heart. This tiny, isolated atoll in the midst of the South China Sea should be called Dead Men's Island instead of Shipwreck Island. The captain of the yacht is dead, Cockney is dead, and now Manuel the pirate is dead. And somewhere abroad on this two-by-four coral strand is a phantom figure, moving in stealth and in darkness. Who is it? That's why Captain Friday and Skip insist on returning to Gracie's cave. They want to know, and they're returning against Gracie's vehement protests. You're doing yourself an arm coming back like this. You're doing yourself an arm and you'll get no thanks for it. Oh, don't you get it, Gracie? Somebody done us a good deed. Shot the pirate and saved our lives. Well, you can't just up and fly away from a deserted island and leave a friend behind. Well, he ain't no friend of yours. What did you say, Gracie? I said he ain't no friend of yours and you'll save yourself a heap of trouble if you go away from this island. Yeah, just a minute. Now, let's get to the bottom of this. Bottom of what? Who isn't a friend of ours? Whoever shot Manuel. He'll do the same by you. You say that as though you know what you're talking about. Of course I know what I'm talking about. Of course I know. And this phantom person isn't a phantom at all. I mean, as far as you're concerned. I never said that. You the same as said it. I never did. Why, sure you Hold did. Hold it, Skip. Excuse me. Now, look, Gracie. There is somebody on this island you know about, isn't there? There's been somebody on the island all the time. Somebody from the wrecked yacht. That's a lie. Is it? You heard me say so. But I don't believe you. I was washed ashore in the storm. The captain was washed ashore and so was Cockney and Manuel. And that's all? And that's all. Well, except for Bill Shazza, my friend the parrot. Okay, come on. Yeah. Now, just a minute. Take her arm, Skip. Yeah, come on, Gracie. Don't take hold of me. Don't rough me up. Hey, what you scared about? If you know what's good for you, don't lay an hand on me. I don't get this, do you, Cap? No, but I'm beginning to get ideas. Look, I'm telling you for your own good. You treated me like a pair of gents, and I don't want to see you get hurt. What's that mean? The cave where I've been living for the last six months is just up ahead. I can't keep you from going there, but if you do, you won't leave this island alive. Hey, now you got my appetite all wetted up. Don't be a fool. Go away while you can. Go down to the beach and get in your plane before it's too late. Will you come with us? I can't. I can't. Don't you understand? Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't be allowed. What's to prevent you? 
How can you stand there arguing with a girl when your very lives are in danger? Well, look, Gracie, you don't think we'd go off and leave a pretty gal in trouble? I'm in no trouble. I agree with you. No use arguing. Come on. Oh, you fools. You're a pair of fools. That's the mouth of the cave right up ahead, isn't it? Yes, that's it. You don't need to be so unhappy, Gracie. Captain Friday and I can take care of ourselves. Hey! Run for it. The mouth of the cave. Oh. Inside. That's it. Made it. We made it all right. Hey, that rifle bullet went by my ear like a bumblebee in a fruit jar. Well, now, maybe you'll believe me. About what? That you're dead men. Hey, I don't feel dead. There you are. Dead men. Both of you. Gracie. Well... Where's Belshazzar? With the parrot? Yes, the parrot. Where is he? Well, how should I know? About somewhere, I suppose. You said he always squawked when strangers came near the cave. We're strangers. Why didn't he squawk? He's a temperamental parrot. And you also said he hid himself at the back of the cave here when strangers got too near. And so he does. Well, let's get him. I'd like a look at him. Well, maybe he ain't there. Maybe he's out in the jungle. Why would he be out there? Well, Bill Charles has been making eyes at a cockatoo out in the jungle lately. He's probably out there sitting with her in the moonlight. In other words, Gracie, there is no parrot. Hey, Chief. You heard him with your own ears, didn't you? I heard something you say was a parrot. Sounded like a parrot to me, Cap. Maybe. Maybe it sounded like a human being trying to sound like a parrot. That's a lie. Okay. Get Belshazzar the parrot and prove it to me. If Manuel or Cockney or the captain was alive, they'd tell you there was two a parrot. Belshazzar belonged to the galley cook on the yacht. Everybody on the yacht knew about Belshazzar. He was the life of the party he was before the shipwreck. How did you happen to get him after the wreck? I found him washed ashore. His feather was wet and he was shivering like a leaf. I picked him up in my arms and dried him and brought him to my cave here. He was that grateful he wouldn't leave me afterwards. Why don't we go to the back of the cave and have a look? He might be there. Why so old-fired interested in a parrot? Do you mind coming back with me? It's the only thing that'll make you happy. Skip, you stay here, watch the entrance. While you and Gracie look for Bell Shares, huh? Yeah, keep an eye open. I don't want anyone sneaking in behind us while we're back there. Check. Shall we go, Gracie? I've given you all the warning I'm going to. From now on, you'll just have to do the best that you can. <laughs> just listen at her. As though me and Captain Friday could... Hey. Hey, out there, outside the cave. No use giving me that silent treatment. I seen your shadow when you moved behind that tree yonder. Then you have seen the shadow of your own doom, which is close upon you. Hey, a doggone oriental. Oriental is a general term which covers many races and creeds and facial and mental characteristics. You sound like a dad burned professor. I am a student by avocation. My profession is a culinary art practice aboard seagoing vessels. In other words, you're a sea cook by trade. If you wish. Hey, then you must be the cook aboard the yacht that Gracie was telling us about. The girl tell you about me? Yeah, that you was the owner of the parrot, Belshazzar, on the yacht. Oh, what else did she say? Well, that's all. Hey, look at what you hiding out on us for. We owe you a lot for shooting a parrot at a kind of a critical time in our lives. Come on out and shake hands with a man that wants to thank you. Do not be a fool. Huh? What's that mean? I did not kill Manuel to save you. I killed him because he struck the girl. Oh, oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Oh, so that's what Gracie meant when she warned us not to grab a hold of her or rough her up. You was watching us, huh? I was watching. Well, what the heck you want to kill us for? If you've been watching, you know doggone well we don't mean Gracie no harm. You are trying to take her from this island. Well, sure, but we'll take you too. We'll be glad to take you. No. What you mean, no? You don't want to stay here forever, do you? With the girl? Yes. Hey, look, you mean you'd be willing to spend the rest of your life out here, isolated from the rest of the world, if we'll just go away and leave you and Gracie alone? It would be a pleasure. It would be something beyond words to express. <laughs> I'm afraid I'd get kind of tired of even Salome and the Queen of Sheba rolled into one after six months of the year. That is the Western mind. The poetic mind of the East knows how to make happiness last forever. And so you're going to kill Captain Friday and me so you and Gracie can have everlasting happiness, huh? It is so written. Well, somebody wrote wrong, brother, and he better dig himself up an eraser and rub it out. That is foolish, childish talk. And besides, what about Gracie? What does she say about all this? Woman is musical instrument ready to respond to those who know how to play upon her. 
A woman is happy anywhere if placed in the hands of one who is a master of such matters. Just as a violin plays as sweetly in a drawing room or in the darkness of a coal cellar, if it is in a master's hands. Well, that's quite a speech, Professor. But I'd still like to know what Gracie would say with her own lips. Where is she? She and Captain Friday are at the back of the cave looking for the parrot. Parrot? <laughs> there is no parrot. Huh? But Gracie said you had one on the ship. On the yacht, yes. But Belgezard was drowned. It was I who imitated the parrot. But what for? To protect Gracie from the Cockney and Manuel. I watched him in the jungle, and whenever they decided to try to catch Gracie, I would cry out like the parrot used to do on the yacht. Thus, she was able to hide in the jungle. Well, just the same. Captain Friday and Gracie are in the back of the cave and looking for the parrot, Belshazzar. And I wish they'd get back here. It's just as I told you, Belshazzar is out in the moonlight with the cockatoo. Gracie, did anyone ever tell you you couldn't lie worth a plugged nickel? Is that any way to talk to a girl? Look here, in the back of the cave. Where did these sea chests come from? Sea chests? Yes, you know what a sea chest is, don't you? Look, three, four, five of them. They came off the wrecked yacht. They were washed up on the beach at night. Hmm. I suppose you put them on your back and lugged them up here to the cave. And supposing I did? I'm a strong girl. Baloney. What's in them? Food supplies. A hundred, hundred and fifty pounds apiece. I know that. And you know as well as I do that the phantom who killed Manuel carried these up here. You and whoever he is have been working some kind of deal together That's and... not true. Not a blinking word of it is true. <laughs> oh, what was that? Gun battle. Skip's in trouble. Come on. I oh, heard someone scream. I'll say you did. Skip! Skip, are you all right? Hi, Captain. Come see what I got. You hear that? What has he done? What has he done? Yeah, I am. Hey, did you hear that gun battle? Boy, it was hot and heavy for a minute. What have you done? What have you done? Well, come on out here and I'll show you. Here's your bell, Shaz of the parrot. Oh. Dead on a mackerel. Chad. Chad, what have they done? What happened, Skip? Who is he? This guy was a cook on the yacht. He's the one who's been imitating the parrot. Oh. He told you that? Sure, told me all about it. And then he sneaked in and tried to kill me. Almost did, too, but I got a couple of shots in where they did a job. Come on, Gracie, get up on your feet. It's cruel. Cruel, that's what it is. Up you come. Were you in love with him? No. But he was the best friend a girl ever had. I found him washed up on the beach after the storm. I took care of him. He was in love with you. I don't believe it. He was just grateful for the way I saved him. Uh-uh, he was in love. He wanted to keep just you and him on this island forever. He was devoted. He protected me from the other men. He never tried to take advantage of me because I was a girl. Sounds like a decent gent. And all because I nursed him back when he nearly drowned on the beach. Well, he was out to get Captain Friday and me. He said so. I told you that. That's why I wanted you to go away without me. Hey, you wanted to stay here forever with him? No, but I didn't want him killed either. And I didn't want either of you killed. Well, anyway, we can give him a decent burial. Yeah. Dig a grave and then let's get off this crazy place. You got your belt fastened, Gracie? It's fastened. Shut the door and lock it, Skip. Door secure. Turn him over, Captain. Okay, here goes. How they acting, Chief? Purring like a tiger cat. Well then, let's go. Hang on, Gracie. I am with every bit of me. All aboard for Australia, Honolulu, and San Francisco. Give her the gun, Captain. Relax, Gracie. You can open your eyes now. <laughs> she held her breath and gritted her teeth and kept her eyes shut all during the takeoff. Well, a girl never knows what might happen to her up in an airplane. Hey, y'all, look at down there. There goes Shipwreck Island. Oh, it wasn't such a bad place. Not bad at all. It's just that men can't keep from killing each other when a girl's around. <laughs> And 
And that is what happened to the girl on Shipwreck Island. From Australia, Captain Friday and Skip return to San Francisco. And when you next hear from them, they will undoubtedly be up to their necks in high adventure, intrigue, and more blood and thunder. You have been listening to Adventures by Morse. <laughs>